So for the last two weeks or so, two and a half weeks, we've been feeding these birds that have been in the box. Uh, we're feeding them about one and a half quail per bird per day. Uh, they've been progressing nicely. Um, today they're at about six weeks, six and a half weeks old, and uh, basically just released those birds. Alerting. My name is Jennifer Malinoff and I'm a biological science technician here at Shenandoah National Park and I specialize in wildlife management in the park. And with the peregrine falcons I was responsible for feeding them every morning once a day when they arrived as chicks and we would feed them five quail a day. These quail were already dead and frozen so we would thaw them out and then remove pieces of the quail that normally the adult peregrine falcons would remove for the chicks. And then once the quail were prepped, we would put them on a platform and slide it into the box to feed the chicks. And the window that we would place the food through was really small so that hopefully the chicks wouldn't see us when we were feeding them so that they didn't associate the food with humans. And then the next day when we come and feed them again, we'd clean up any scraps that the chicks left behind, which an adult peregrine falcon would normally do. And we'd throw them out and then give them new food. So we're hopeful that they'll come out gradually, they'll feed, they'll acclimate to their surroundings, uh, and then hopefully stick around for about three to four to five more weeks. We'll continue to feed them, and hopefully they'll disperse safely and, and find a, a good wintering ground, and then eventually come back maybe and start a new pair here at Shenandoah.